everybody and welcome back to This Month in Realty. Today I am super happy to have back Kimberly Barton. Now Kimberly is the broker and owner of Kinetic Realty in Annapolis, Maryland. Kimberly, give us the update on real estate in Annapolis. Uh, Annapolis is still seeing um, properties going under contract very quickly, 7 to 12 days depending on uh, price range. And we are seeing more properties coming on the market. But when you look at the statistics year to date, uh, prices are up. And contracts this past couple of weeks have been up as well as interest rates have improved. Overall, in Maryland, we're seeing that we have a significant increase in the year-to-date price, 9.9% overall for Maryland. And Maryland is still seeing um, a 100% list-to-sale ratio and in under two weeks. So overall, we're, we're, we're seeing a very strong real estate market here in Maryland. Those are strong numbers, my gosh. Okay, so from a from a buyer's perspective, I, I get this question from time to time too. Is it better to wait until spring to buy or is it better to go ahead and purchase now? Well, the answer to that actually is it depends. It depends on your situation. If you can buy sooner than waiting till the spring, it actually makes a lot more sense. Uh, you have sellers on the market in the last quarter of the year who are serious about selling. And in that case, you're also not competing with as many buyers because a lot of buyers will have that mindset, I'll just wait until the spring. However, we have also recently seen the interest rates drop and it makes it a really good sweet spot right now with the number of homes on the market, serious sellers, as well as price improvements and an in, in, uh, rejection in interest rates. So if you can buy, it's really a good time to do so. Excellent. Um, and, I, and I agree with you completely. I think right now you're going to see a, a larger inventory than you may in the spring. So you'd have more choice. I think once we get past the election and the interest rates, you'll settle into the lower zone Everyone's going to clamor back in and you'll lose that inventory choice. Yeah, so just, just, just my two cents on that. So this is another question we get every time this time of year. Uh, is, is it good to go on the market before the holidays or just. Uh, from a seller side, um, it actually is a good time to go on the market because you're competing with fewer sellers, even though in, uh, the inventory is rising. Um, it, you're positioned a lot more favorably because the spring market usually gets very frenetic with the excitement of being at spring. Um, you also have the, uh, the the recent changes in the interest rate, which if you have to buy, it also positions you well for being a seller. Uh, so the last few months is actually a good time. As a matter of fact, I have had more people buy in the fall markets because they are wanting to be in a property before the new year. And it sort of makes a very um, clean mindset break. Start the new year in a new house, new goals, new activities. So if you are thinking about selling, then it is a good time to sit down and really think about what your goals are and what your expectations are for the market and how long you can be on the market. So overall, yes, if you want to make a move, it is a great time to list your property. Excellent advice. Will you come back? Uh, next question should be, how does somebody reach you? Oh, they can reach me by email, Kimberly at kbartonrealtor.com, or you can reach out by phone, 443-222-0857. Okay, see you next month? Yes, thank you. Okay, tune in next month to hear more from Kimberly and other real estate experts around the United States and Canada. Take care.